January 20th, 2022. How's it going, guys? Well, i got a short little video I'm going to do here for you guys. And what I'm going to talk about tonight is uh, crystals and stones. It might help you uh, get your chakras moving a little bit quicker and uh, decalcify that pineal gland. So uh, I'll just get started real quick here. This right here is salinite. And uh, it's really good for taking and getting rid of any kind of uh, negative energies. And the uh, only thing you really have to do with this stuff is just kind of kind of wand this over your body, and it will kind of open. If you have any blockages, it will actually help open certain things that will uh, get some of that stuff moving for you. And you can't go wrong with it. And uh, there's nothing bad that's going to come from using this, the salonite, whatsoever. Now, we're going to talk about a few other things here that you can use. Calcite, clear calcite, is a good stone to use if you're kind of wanting to say, like, for psychic ability get that going a little bit better uh, you can either put it up on your temples or kind of back behind your earlobes and that's two locations you can put this that will actually kind of help get that going a little bit stronger for you guys out there now how can you do that well you can either take and use like just basic electric tape and tape it there like say maybe you're sleeping at night when you go to sleep or you can use a kind of like a headband like this and you can tape that to the headband and if you have those opposite say like two of these of your temple that's going to actually help get that going and help open that psychic ability up just a little bit more. Now, uh, this is a Sacraloka crystal. It's very, very high energy. And the thing I, you need to be aware of about these is a lot of them, you can actually, you need to find out if they will push and pull both ways. Because some of these Sacraloka crystals will only go one way. And they cannot be reversed, just like a magnet, negative and positive. And it's something, if you can't feel the energy flow, you need to have somebody that can to help assist you. But you need to find one that can flow both ways. And if you have something like this, uh, a necklace is a good way to go. And you, you can't go wrong with this. You can wear this 24 hours a day, and it definitely will help bring your energy up higher. Now, we all know about the Multivite. Multivite is really good. And uh, having it on you, wearing it, that will bring your energy level up higher. And I, everything, all Multivite, I mean, comes over, over in that area by Russia. I mean, I think this says Kakistan on it. And this one was from the Czech Republic over there. Now, what I'm going to show you here is we were talking about, about decalcification of the pineal gland. Well, this little crystal down here is called brookite. And if people are having problems with that, if you, if you get some of that, and you can put that back by the back behind your head, like sleep with that at nighttime behind your head, or say around the base of the back of your neck, this will help decalcify the brookite well. Now I have both these in here for another reason because to enhance certain things, multivite, multivite with any other kind of crystals will enhance any other crystals, which can actually boost the energy levels even more. Just just a FYI on that, guys. This is Libyan gold. A lot of people will say it will do the same thing. It's not a high as energy crystal. It's a green multivite. It will not. Now, it's not bad, but it has not as high energy level as a green multivite.
say like this right here. Now, hold on, guys. I got a couple of little things I want to show you real quick. Hold on. Okay, I'm back real quick. And what I've done, I've drawn just a, a small little outline of how the chakras go in and out, just like almost like a funnel, like a tornado. Okay, guys? And it's from your back and front. Now, what I do want to say is right here at the back of the neck, if you're wanting to absorb a certain crystal energy, you want to place that crystal back there. And it actually can, you can actually absorb that into your aura. I would recommend trying certain ones and see what happens. Another thing, too, is... Uh, if you get you a, you know, you can even check it out at the library, get you a couple books on Reiki. This is talking about how you orbit the energy. Now, I learned how to do that a long time ago. But you learn to take that energy and be able to pull it up through the back, kind of like through your spine, around your head, come back down, come back down through the back of your legs, all the way around your feet, and then bring it back up and orbit it back through again. And it takes some practice, and you have to learn how to also breathe doing that, too. But uh, it's well worth it, and it, your health can benefit from it, too. Now, what I was going to show you something, guys, something else is wild. When I learned how to do all this, like I say, I still believe some of this is DNA. And depending on where you come from or where your family tree lies on all of it. But when all this started, and like I say, I was always psychic, but when this ascension process started several years back here, I could actually feel this energy. I could push this energy around actually from the sides of my arms even out back and forth. Not just like you would be throwing it from your crown chakra, but I could actually move the energy out from my arm and back and forth. Also, now you have to understand there's a lot of pressure points, accurate pressure points. There's a lot of governors here too, guys. The governor is your body. There's meridian lines. But what I was going to say, if you can, if you can, once you get this energy moving through your body and you can feel it, you can actually direct the energy flow. And for like your intestines and stomach, I mean, if you want good, uh, you know, I'm just going to say bowel movements and stuff. I never really have any problem with that. But you can take this energy and you can move it up and you can spin it around. Now you want to actually go, um, it would be, let me think here, what I'm facing, it would be clockwise. Okay. And as you spin this around and then, yeah, then basically this keeps everything but you have to understand there are things here that it's a lot more important to be able to move this energy around and understand what it's doing like i say there's several books that are definitely worth looking at now, hold on just a second guys okay guys i'm not affiliated with any of these these are just books i like i say i'm just going to tell you this energy medicine by donna eden you can't beat that essential reiki and the magic of reiki and i was going to get you guys see that right there but those are the three books that you want to read if you want to learn about how to move this energy around more and like i say the benefits are to your health also so, my time is about ready to run out here, guys. So, I thought I'd just do a short little quick video. And uh, keep your eyes open. And have a good one.